today we're taking a look at Substance, the new bass synth from Output. Now, we're taking a look at the Rhythm tab in this video. If you want to learn more about the entire synth, be sure to check out our other videos. So in the Rhythm tab, this section is a very cool way to add some motion to your sounds. It allows you to adjust the effects and how they react with the sounds based on a rhythm, whether it's a step or a wave. So we're going to start here with this bottom section, and this will allow us to set up what our, our bass sound is going to be. So uh, when I say bass sound, it's kind of like the, the LFO, whether it's going to be a wave or a stepper based on a rhythm or a pattern. So let's go ahead and, and start by choosing, uh, let's do a wave shape and let's do this kind of block sound here. And let's go ahead and uh, set that up. And now when we send these levels to the different effects, we'll start to get that. So let's do it with the low pass cut. So you can hear that now it's taking this rhythm that we've assigned and sending it to the low pass cut. Now, if you want to see what this low pass cut is, you can actually click on it. It'll take you right to it and it'll highlight it for you. So if you wanted to make adjustments to it there, you certainly could do that. A very cool feature. Let's say we want to send it to drive. You can see that you can send it uh, either positive or negative, and that adjusts the polarity of what it is. Let's try the stepper. So you obviously can get some very cool and wacky sounds with this if you're trying to use a stepper with all of these different global sends. Now, of course, you can take that a level deeper and adjust the layer sends and just affect very specific sounds within each layer. So obviously, this goes very deep. Uh, if you wanted to just do the volume of this you know, second layer here, you could adjust that and uh, you start to really get some, some flexibility there. Now you can also adjust the flux. So in the flux setting, you've got uh, the max and the minimum amount of flux, and you can adjust this uh, so that it's not quite perfect, and this allows you to kind of create almost a, a meta arc of your, your stepper or your wave. So that is the rhythm section. It's very deep. Obviously, you can get a lot of different sounds out of it. Um, you can adjust the rate and the swing. Um, you can adjust the number of steps. You can customize it. Um, you can, of course, you know, go in here and, and adjust it right within the, uh, the interface here. So a lot of different possibilities, a lot of different sounds. If you want to learn more about this synth, be sure to check out uh, all of the other videos that we've created showing you the main, the edit, the EQ, the filter, the effects sections, as well as the macro controls and the arpeggiator. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Westlake Pro for more videos like this.